good morning students so today we are going to see about what is a consumer education and what is the need for consumer education we are going to see okay so first who is a consumer we will see who is a consumer so we know that consumer is a person who buys the goods or one who pays for the service or one when we buy a product we, we are known as a what a consumer so consumer is a known as a what a person who get the things or get a product a one who pays for the product that person is name as what a consumer okay why we have to give education to the consumer why there's a need to give education okay because every person as a consumer we are facing a problem we are facing a problem what are the problems faced by the consumers we are going to see now okay first one is price variation and second one is poor quality next one is adulteration next one is non availability black marketing and coding and defective weights and measures next misleading information lack of standardization products okay first we are going to see about the what is the price variation so we know that when we go to one shop okay the price of the same shop may vary from one shop to another okay so including of all tax only we have going to pay okay so the price of one product may vary from one shop to another okay we have to check the price whether it is same or not in case if the price varies we need not get the product from that shop so there is a need for the consumer education there okay next one is poor quality next one is called as what a poor quality okay and uh, it's very difficult nowadays it is very difficult to get a what yeah good product or a best product or a genuine product okay and all the product uh, are what uh, it is been what um, uh, adulterated only and sometimes we may see that the popular brand okay it has been used for what a poor quality uh, product for example you can say that bata okay usually the bata the high uh, brand bata is written as what bat small letters okay but sometimes you may notice that the bata it is written as capital letter that is not a high quality or other uh, original brand okay so the original uh, brand or the popular brand name it has been mixed with the word for the poor quality okay that is the second thing next one is adulteration so adulteration is nothing but you know that what uh, in order to get a, a profit okay they are adding or deleting uh, something in order to uh, lower the uh, quality of the product okay so they are adding or they are deleting or removing certain substance in order to lower the quality of the product for example along with rice they are adding stones okay uh, uh, with rava they are adding what sugar milk with water etc okay so in order to lower the quality the product is was adulterated for example um, uh, uh, chili powder with the brick red powder okay so all the thing it has been adulterated next one is next problem uh, what they are facing is non availability black marketing or coding okay usually it is the tactics of the business people in order to get a what a better price they are creating a what yeah uh, demand for the product okay sometimes you may have noticed during the festival period maybe a pongal or diwali or whatever it may be they may create a what artificial demand for the uh, product uh, stating that there's actual demand so that they can have what they can uh, fetch a good profit or they are making a high price to the product okay that is called as what non availability black marketing or hoarding hoarding is nothing but padiki uh, vekkirathu they are they are doing by themselves creating a what artificial scarcity for the product uh, stating that they want to get a what the product is of demand so you have to uh, get even if it is sell it at a very high cost or anything else so in that case the uh, consumer faces a what a problem and there's a need for a consumer education there okay next one is called as what a misleading information next point is misleading information so what is a misleading information for example they are saying that if you use this kind of soap okay uh, you will become what fat etc other uh, pimple you won't get a uh, pimples etc okay and i uh, think of one example if i can say that uh, use of uh, when you are using fair and lovely you will become what they will show the uh, the girl uh, girl's face uh, and they will uh, put the what the number of days also along with the first second third fourth fifth day and at the seventh day that uh, they will show the girl's face with the what with a lot of brightness in such a case all the south indians may be what uh, may be of what uh, a very fair 
if you use a parallel but nothing will happen that so that is a misleading information so they are trying to pose about the product by seeing that but as a many girls will try to get the product as well as what they are saying misleading information one more thing along with the water um, the price okay along with the uh, um, uh, water the product they will give what some uh, uh, plastic jars or mugs or etc okay that is a misleading information okay next one is defective weights and meshes defective weights and meshes so whatever product we are getting that is not what a uh, correct weight and meshes for example you can see that what when you get a what packed item that is a uh, whether a lace packet or cookware whatever it may be you can see that what in the lot of what hollow only hollow mess only full of yarn only and when you open the pocket you can see what packet you can see only what a minimum quantity only but the packet will be a huge one okay so that is about defective weights and meshes and sometimes when you this is a one product but another thing when you go to what uh, to the local shop uh, shopkeepers okay that uh, uh, all the grandpas or any anyway the sitting on the street and when they are selling a, a thing okay which will be selling thing else they will use a water uh, water hollow base at the bottom okay or they will have what tamarind or whatever it may be under the what the pan etc so that is a problem we are facing it we can't say anything else okay because they will shout at us at that time next one is lack of standardized product what is a lack of standards product standardization means what they are setting a mark for a, a mark for the product for example okay isi mark or agma mark okay wool mark eco mark or now you can say that latest uh, silk mark for silk sarees they are we are having a silk mark as well as for jewelry item we are having a hall mark that is called as a what a yes, standardized mark so why we want to have a standardized uh, mark for example okay it states that all the product before it's coming to the market it is of what purity as well as it is of what yeah guarantee one or yeah quality as well as purity so that is very very important so when you buy such a thing it states that what the product is of what a good quality and so that is called as what a standardized a standardization mark so all these problems we are facing so there's a need for what yeah, education to the consumers what is a consumer education so we are giving education to the consumer okay regarding what what when how and how much to buy okay what to buy when to buy and how and how much to buy okay this is called as consumer education and what are the advantages of consumer education first one it helps the consumer to choose the things very intelligently because so many things are available in the market okay and the um, the world is uh, what a uh, flooded with lot of uh, products okay and it helps them to choose the uh, product very intelligently and second advantage is what not to misled by the salesman because the sales people they try to force the product okay they want to sell the product to you so it helps them to what uh, it helps you not to misled by the sales people once the sales people say something you should not uh, get it you have to analyze the product okay next one it helps the people to get knowledge regarding the standardization mark so i told you what is a standardization mark so before getting any product you have to check whether the product has a standardization mark or not for example when you are getting a pressure cooker or any vessel check whether that's a isi mark okay any food product okay for example ghee oil butter whatever it may be okay check whether that's a ag mark mark when you are getting any jewel item check whether that's a hall mark etc silk sari silk mark you can check that okay so it helps the people to get a what a standardization thing then it helps the people to get a what a safe and reliable product at a very fair price okay it helps the people to get a what a safe product okay that's very then uh, it helps the people uh, it gives a what awareness to the people about the rights and responsibilities of a consumer what is the rights of the uh, consumer what is the responsibilities of a consumer so that they are uh, helps you so that is about the advantages now we are going to see about the what is the uh, responsibilities of a consumer what is the responsibilities so first one there are certain responsibility for the consumer also okay so first what you have to do you have to maintain the bills and receipts or sometime when you get some uh, uh, electronic items they will give a what a guarantee card warranty card okay so in case uh, within a one year or two years okay within a uh, period there is a repair you can go and uh, make it 
service here at a free of cost. But if you don't maintain that uh, card itself, you can't go and bargain anything else. So it is a responsibility of the what? The consumer to maintain certain bills as well as the receipt. Okay. Then you should always, you must remember that you are a member of the society. Why uh, you must remember? Because at the time of what? A short supply of any product. Always don't get too much and keep it at home. Okay. Because many people, they may, they may not get the product. For example, during summer, there will be demand for milk. Okay, uh, think that all the people should uh, get a milk because it's a basic uh, food. Okay, and uh, don't get and store it at home at a huge, a huge quantity. Always you must think that what you must remember that you are a member of the society and do not waste any product also. Nerea bulk, uh, if, you, uh, if you are purchasing a bulk quantity, it will become a waste. So don't waste any product also. Okay, and then you have to follow the what the instruction given by the what the manufacturers how to use the product, how to take care of the products, etc. Because when you get electronic goods, there will be they will be giving what the instruction how to take care of the products. Okay, so these are the responsibilities of what the consumers. Okay, next one we are going to see what is a consumer aid. So aid is nothing but which helps the consumer okay in selecting the product which helps the consumer and guides the consumer in selecting the product. Okay, what are the common aids? So first aid is called as what? The standardization mark. First aid is called as the standardization mark. Next one is the label and catalogs. Next one is the packages. Next one is advertisement. Next one is legislation, association and properties. Okay. So again I will say the common aids are what? The standardization mark, uh, labels, um, packages, advertisement, legislation, association and properties. Okay. What are the various uh, standardization marks already told you? That is ISI mark, hug mark, uh, fruit product order, uh, then water, uh, wool mark and eco mark. So these are the uh, various water. The marks okay various hand decision mark so isi for all the water uh, food product nearly 450 varieties of food product they are giving as well as for agma for all the what items of our agriculture marketing products they are giving agma and fruit product product for all the product that comes out in a container they are giving that mark and wool mark for woolen clothes and eco mark for nowadays uh, they are eco for, um, all the products should be eco friendly for that they are giving about the uh, eco mark okay so just uh, this uh, thing we can move on to lab. next one regarding the packages okay so what is a uh, package what is a package so most of the uh, product nowadays it has been bought uh, packed in a wrapper or in a container okay and it helps the consumer okay to identify the product very easily for example uh, what they do for example I are using a soap for example hammam soap when you go to any mall or any what um, thing you need not what uh, go and search for it by seeing the wrapper itself you can identify the product so it helps the public to identify the product as well as it protects the product from damage also when it is a loosely packed it may spill during transport time or anything else so it helps them to work to protect the uh, products from damage and it's free from breakage also when it is a the product is uh, what a uh, pack it is free from uh, breakage and it prevents what adulteration also and it helps in what easily transportation and for storage and it attracts a what the customer also it attracts a customer then it helps a customer to recognize this what the brand and it saves the time of purchasing power of the uh, uh, the customer also okay so what is the requirement of the uh, package it should be of good strength okay then it should be of uh, good safety okay for example why it should be safety means uh, if it is a good substance the material the uh, the packaging material should not be what a toxic one otherwise it may react with the uh, food substance and may create some health hazard so it should be a safety and easy opening okay and the, for example when you're getting oil packet it will be marked as a what a yeah, black thing so it, it says that it is a place where you have to cut it so that is called as easy opening and um, uh, it should be about very attractive all package should be a very very attractive okay um, so then what is a label next uh, eight is a label so label means what it denotes what the name of the company what is a product name what raw material used in preparing the uh, product that is called as what 
the uh, label okay what are the types of label so what are the types of label there are different types of label first one is brand label brand label is nothing it says about the what the brand of the company then standard decision label it says whether the product has a what ISM mark or 